definitely be prepared to get uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, very. Like most good things in life, you go on a date with a beautiful woman. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable, but the payoff can be oh so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies' man. That's what he is. He's the I want to say one thing. I was worried about money and cost. Is it worth it? The ratio of money to this trip. I would pay triple ten times. Oh my wow. gosh. Oh wow. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> well, I was given the idea to shoot a video on a retreat with everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. So here we are. Where are we at? Vermont! Vermont! Vermont. Yeah. Vermont. So we're in Vermont. It's the last day of the retreat. Um, we just did, we just spent like three or four days together. However, it feels kind of like three years to me. Yeah. And I think that's a bit of a testimony of how how fast and how deep of a connection you can have when you allow yourself to be seen by being vulnerable and being expressive. And I told these guys that I want to shoot a video with them, and I told them I I was just going to put them on the spot. I had no idea what we're going to talk about. But anyway, um, I want to ask, what what was the scariest moment of this retreat to you, Angel? Rapid fire answers. Bouldering, please. climbing up, bouldering. Yeah. Bouldering. Angel, where are you from? Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> okay. Uh, Joey. Ah. <laughs> um, what did you love most about this retreat in a sentence or two? <laughs> Becoming vulnerable with people and uh, being super comfortable with my imperfection. Mm. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, again, I'm putting them on the spot. We didn't prepare this at all, but I want to uh, acknowledge that I believe I've truly prepared and so have they. They are prepared. They've been prepared since they came out of their mother's womb. Um, so. I'm going to ask Chris over here with the beard, who did you like the most on the retreat? <laughs> <laughs> who did I like the most? <laughs> um, <laughs> I think it's a toss up between Kitch and Joe. <laughs> I pretty much asked Chris the hardest, most challenging question I think I could have. So thank you for even that was tough. attempting to answer. It was very hard. Um, all right, let's see. <laughs> Ev in the blue from Montreal. Where do you, at what point of the retreat do you feel like your heart became the most alive? Um, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> um, last night when I broke down in tears. <laughs> oh, I up. That. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, last night. Do you have something to say? <laughs> say? Yeah. Uh, I have something to say. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah, I do have something to say. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. I just want to say, you, you guys all look amazing, by the way. As I, as I trust you, I do too, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, now. Uh, we'll go with Jenna right here in the towel. This beautiful woman right here. Um, what was the biggest fear you had coming on the retreat and then also uh, did you find that fear to be real or just a figment of your imagination? Mm, good question. My biggest fear coming on this retreat was co-hosting it and, uh, and actually I, I was afraid if uh, people would think that I wasn't good enough to co-host the retreat and that what I had to say was stupid and I believed that it was my imagination and that it was not true. Do you feel like you're good enough to co-host a retreat or host it? Yes. Yeah. Would y'all say she is? Yeah! yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So uh, last and certainly least. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I, that's what I like to call a, uh, a mainland joke where instead of connecting through just saying nice encouraging words, I, I, I make a cutting joke. So I just want to say I don't approve of the joke I just made. <laughs> Um, but Kitch Wakeman, he's now, this is your third retreat Number three. from New Hampshire. I want to ask you, Kitch, yes. um, if you have uh, a few sentences to share with a million people, yeah. what would those sentences be? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, no pressure. 
Uh, I guess the sentences would be. <laughs> That's one. Woo <laughs> wee. Uh, you don't have to know everything. You don't have to be correct. You don't have to worry about being right. You don't have to worry about saying the right things. Um, and that there is a, a perfection in every moment if you're willing to look through whatever you're experiencing and find it. Yeah. Yeah. We, li we like yeah. to snap for things like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am so blessed. I am, I am so blessed to have shared this time with these guys this weekend. And I thank God for it all, for just putting this all together. I also feel very much like I attended these guys' retreats because they have so much wisdom to share. And I believe that you do too. It's just a matter of tapping into it by allowing yourself to, be, to speak the message that God has given to you. And I would love to come to your retreat someday. Does anyone have anything that's on their chest that they really want to say? Yeah, we'll see you soon. I want to figure out what question to ask you. Oh, dang. <laughs> you better hurry up. You got to make it rapid fire. What was the scariest thing for you on this retreat? Rapid, rapid fire, man. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Announcing that Jenna was a co-host to the attendees who had no idea that I was going to have a co-host. Hmm. Yeah. Cool, man. Awesome. Anybody else have anything they're on the chest to share? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yes. Just be yourself. Be you. Just that's all. That's all it is. Figure out who you are. Don't worry about who other people are. Yeah. The whole journey is is about finding out who you are and what you bring to the table. Mm. And when you uh, feel like speaking, speak up. Speak your mind. Yeah. And when you're talking to, the, when you say you, you're talking about yourself. Yeah. That's advice to yourself. It's totally advice. To yourself. <laughs> I love this guy, Joey. Uh, he triggered a lot of jealousy in me. You could probably see why. He's freaking great looking, athletic, and I love him for that. He loves Jesus too. <laughs> yeah. I want to ask them on camera, would you suggest or recommend this experience for other people? Yeah, so the price of the next retreat that he, that he posts and he's going to host, um, it's worth, to me, at least, at least double or $1,000 more. So this is such a bargain. It's so good for, for who you become with other people is, yeah. is worth, it's actually priceless. Yeah. It's mm. priceless. Ignoring the reason, ignoring the rhyme. <laughs> 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 